These are just basic uh, proportions that we can solve for x. We solve this by using our property that says the cross products of a proportion are equal to each other. Uh, and if you remember the cross products we find by multiplying a numerator of one ratio times the denominator of the other. So x times 45 is just 45x. That's one cross product. The other cross product is 15 times 21. And when we do 15 times 21, uh, we get that that's going to equal 315. And then we know they are equal because the property says the cross products, 45x and 315, are equal to each other. To solve this, then, you just divide by 45, and you get x equals 7. So in this case, uh, x equals 7. And that makes sense. 7 over 15 and 21 over 45 are equivalent fractions, which is basically what proportions are. So they're working with equivalent fractions. Okay, we look at number 2. Again, we do our cross product. 17 times 25 is equal to 425. And then 20 times x is equal to 20x. Those are equal because you have a proportion, and your cross products of proportion are congruent or equal. You divide both sides by 20, and you end up with x equals 21. If you divide 425 by um, 20, they end up being 21.25. And that's your value for x on that one. The last one, again, you do cross products. It doesn't matter that it's a little bit different. 5 times 45 is equal to 225. And then this one's going to be 6 times 2x. Well, just do 6 times 2, which is 12. And so you end up with 12. And then you can't forget the x. And then you divide both sides by 12. When you divide 225 divided by 12, you find out that... Um, the answer is x equals 18.75. And so 2 times 18.75 would be 37.50, and five over, that means 5 over 6 is the same as 37.50 over 40, 45. And that's how you solve these. These are very important because a lot of word problems, you end up setting, like, setting up like these three problems, and then you have to solve.